and welcome back everyone to night some developments and this is actually part 14 of my 2025 fps tutorial series and in this video we're going to go over custom attachments in this video specifically we're going over sites so basically when you go ahead and reset or spawn into the game you get posted up with a menu which you can go ahead and click customize select the weapon that you want to customize attachments for click attachments and it shows you a button with sites and what is currently equipped if you go ahead and click change sites you get a list of whatever sites that you have added so i choose either iron sites or a new site so since i already showed you the new site let's go ahead and just switch to iron sites click select as you can see the site switches and the same way back every time you switch you can go ahead and select the exact attachment that you want for your gun so that works great and it looks amazing this tutorial was heavily inspired by xerdev so go ahead and subscribe to his youtube channel as well as well as thank you so much to my supporters who either purchase discord premium to have access to full game files or super thank down below and yeah super cool and easy tutorial where i provide you with all of the code and files let's go ahead and get into the video first of all we're going to do sites in this video so I want you to go ahead and in the comprehensive gun kit choose the one you like the most i think i like this one just because it kind of looks like call of duty so what i want you to do is go ahead go to the comprehensive gun kit go to attachments optics and then just search for the scope that you want i want this one go ahead and duplicate it throw it into the workspace and then you can actually close the comprehensive gun kit. Now go ahead, take this site here and just move it away from everything else. So move it over to like right here or some open space where it's easy to work. Now you can either use one of the models if you have them saved up, but just to be safe, I'm going to use the ones in my view models folder. So go ahead, take the gun you like the most, your primary gun, go ahead and throw it. Actually, don't. Go ahead and duplicate it first and then put it into workspace just in case you mess up you don't want to lose the original go ahead take that scope and then i want you to go ahead and just kind of align it to where you would expect it to be so first of all go ahead click rotate lock uh, rotator at 90 degrees and then just set it looking the right way and then I'll show you a neat little trick. If you go to the actual Troy Defense AR and you find the rear sight, which is that one there, you can just copy its position. So if you go ahead and copy its position here, and then you go to the actual scope. By the way, you're not going to paste it in here. You're going to paste it to where the part is. So in the part, go ahead paste the position click enter and as you can see it will just kind of center line it for you now you're going to make sure that the center of that um metal site iron site is aligned with the actual scope so just move it until you think it looks good so I think that's about right and in order to test it out you can actually go ahead and in the aim part if you click on it and then use the plugin camera locker you can kind of see what that will look like and i think this is actually perfect as in like aligned so i'll go ahead and actually exit for now but i do kind of notice that it's slightly on the charging handle and i don't really like that so i will just slightly move it forward Okay, yeah, that's perfect. That's a lot better. Now, what I want you to do is currently it is not inside of the model. So there are two different models. So what I want you to do is copy the name of the actual scope or iron sight, copy it, then rename the part in it to that name, and then take the actual part, not the model, the part, and then throw it into your view model, and then go ahead and delete the that was left behind and now 
as you can see in your actual view model now you have a scope that's named that exact name now you're gonna quickly weld it to your gun you wanna oh a actually super important huge red sign don't miss this part make sure that in that little scope cast shadow can collide and anchored are all off if they're not off your gun won't be able to move okay now we're gonna quickly weld it so go to your um rifle go to rig edit light and then you want to choose the part that is closest to the scope so it's probably going to be something like upper receiver so if i click quickly scroll okay upper receiver hold control on your keyboard and then select the scope as well and create a weld because you don't want those parts to move you want them to be always connected so make a weld exit the plugin and now it's actually connected and it won't fall off once again make sure can collide and anchored are off okay now that you're done with the actual view model no actually no you're not done yet pay attention this part is also very important don't miss this in your rifle click the little plus icon and type in folder folder add a folder you're gonna call this folder attachments and this is going to be the folder that will hold all of your attachments like sights uh silencers or whatever muzzle brakes so you make this folder right then i want you to go ahead and find your new scope and i want you to find both of your iron sights so rear sight and then uh front sight take these three put them into attachments basically so that you don't mix them up with anything else so leave them in this folder here and make sure to actually do this this is important also super important before i forget super important this attachment file every gun that you have made for your view models has to have an attachment folder so let's say you have your pistol but you don't want to do any sites for it yet or any other rifle so every other view model that you have just literally click the plus search for a folder and then just type attachments and just leave it empty so as long as you're gonna actually have it it will the game will actually let you run it without a scope so make sure you actually add the attachment folder to every single model that you have okay now that you're done with the view model go ahead take it and then put it back into your view models and go ahead and delete the other one that's um incomplete so once you have this we're going to click the, the link in the description below this video go to the discord server and then under uh, FPS 2025 video 14 attachments, you'll see three scripts and you will see three files. Go ahead and download the files. Now, if you go back to your game, open up the files that you downloaded, you should see three of them. Go ahead. First, we're going to do events. Take this event and put it into the events folder in your replicated storage. Then in files, do attachment selection. Basically, this is the buttons for all of your like sites and stuff. And this goes into the GUI in the replicated storage. And you may also notice that it does have a script in it. So make sure that is in there. And then for our last file is customize menu, which is basically just uh, a new menu that includes way more buttons than the last one. So what I want you to do is take it put it into the menu make sure your UI visibility is on and then if you actually set this to oh it is set to visible so basically what is added is a button for sites and then a display of whatever site is currently equipped by the way don't forget to actually delete the old uh, customized menu because that one is going to get mixed up if you don't if you did edit this you can go ahead and customize this one again as well but if you do change anything about this, like literally any button, you move anything, you will have to select everything in it and then use a plugin called Rig Edit Live by pressing the blue button and scaling position and size, which will just make it so that all of the buttons resize on smaller screens. So if you, for example, play on the phone, they will be accurately matched. Okay, now that we're done with files, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the code. So, 
I'll turn off UI visibility so that doesn't get in the way. And then you can close that and that. I will close this as well. Okay, so let's do the framework client first since that's the biggest one. And if you watch my tutorials and you definitely do since it's video 14, it's basically the same process as every other time. You'll go ahead, copy the whole thing. Make sure to not copy these words down here. Copy that. Go to your old client code. Select the whole entire thing. And it's gotten really long, so that kind of sucks. Delete it, make sure everything is gone, and then click paste. Now pay very close attention because what I tell you next is going to make or break your game. First of all, I'm going to mention the most obvious. Swap your gun names if you have different weapons, as well as swap the speed values. You know what I'm talking about from the series. For bobbing, they have like walking and sprinting. I think it's in line like 500. But the thing that you should pay attention to right now, which is very important, very important. On... um. On line uh, 245 or 249. Make sure on lines 250 and 251, where I have front sight and rear sight, you substitute those names for the exact names you wrote in you view model attachments folder for the default sites. Copy and paste the names in, duplicate or delete lines if needed. Okay, once you've done all of those, I want you to go ahead and move to Framework Server. For this one, it's going to be super easy as well. You're going to go to Server Additions, copy these three lines, and then you're going to paste them at the very end here. Basically, it's just going to fire the server to add attachments or take away attachments. And then for our last one, we're going to do Module Additions. So go ahead, copy that, go back to your game, and then in the, the same module script as the gun you just added the scope on, you're going to go ahead and after your TP animations or whatever, just kind of space out a little bit and then paste these lines in. And this is actually very important, so pay attention here. If you, for example, used a site that is different than mine is going to have a different name. So whichever site you use from here, right? Whichever name you copy and pasted, make sure that site's name matches this here. So make sure whatever site you used, you actually paste its name into this. If you don't, it's not going to work. Also super important, pay attention, because if you don't do this, if you switch guns, you game will kind of break because I know you're probably not going to add sets for all of your guns right away. So very important. These lines here that you just pasted in, right? Copy this and go to every single other gun that you have in the module code. So let's say, let's do the Glock example on the Glock. So open up its modules, pay attention, please make a couple of enters, paste. And now instead of all of these lines because you don't have scopes for them since you didn't make them but you still want to play the game for this one you would put nil and then you would put either delete them or put two dashes in front so this will just disable um the site list basically what this does is it just tells the game that the pistol doesn't have a um a site additional site so it just sets to nil which is nothing because if you don't have the attachments function and the sites function in your model it won't register properly so it will kind of break so for every gun that you don't do sites for or you just don't want to do them yet copy this instead with the nil and the lines disabled copy this and paste it for every other primary and secondary gun that you have so yeah that's very important so in theory I think we're done. So let's go ahead and actually run a test. So let's go ahead and click play. And okay, one quick thing. I messed something up. Pay attention right now. Go to your um, starter UI. 
and make sure, make sure this is very important. I just kind of broke my game because I didn't pay attention. In the customize menu, go ahead and set it to visible off, so invisible, and make sure the loadout menu is visible on. Now let's test it. So if I go ahead and actually play, I see my usual menu show up. So now I'm going to select a loadout that has that gun that I added the scope to or sight, and I'm going to click customize. I'm going to select the gun that I want to customize, and I'm going to click attachment. And then as you can see, now there's a button shows up and there's also a label which says what site is currently equipped. So it's currently iron sites, but I want to switch it. So I'll click sites. And then I have a list of all the scopes that I've added so far. I only have two default iron and then the new whatever that says. So let's say I want to select that new scope. I'm going to click confirm and I'm going to click select. As you can see, I have the scope selected and the iron sites are gone. So if I go ahead and play or whatever, I enjoy it. But let's say I want to switch back. So I reset, respawn or die or whatever. And then I see that menu once again. Let's say now I want to play with iron sights. So I'll select the gun again. I'll go ahead and attachments. And I will just go ahead and change to iron sights, click confirm and quick select. And as you can see, the scope is now gone and the iron sights are back. So yeah, that's how you go ahead and add simple scope attachments to your FPS game. You will have to do this for every single gun that you want to add it to. And you should post the module additions, the thing that I posted into the module script of the rifle, into every single gun just to make sure that your game runs well. But yeah, in the next video, I'll probably add stuff like silencers. So when you actually have it equipped, it will make custom sounds and stuff. But yeah. Um, hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.